Hey guys, it's the Lionel Hunter here, and welcome back to another episode of the revisited The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild series. Um, so basically, in this in the last episode I left off finishing the last shrine, and in this episode I want to get the paraglider and begin our travel to Kakariko Village. Because well, that's next. And also the Dueling Peaks Tower, that is important. I should probably sleep somewhere. Uh, it'll be fine. Let's just... Uh, you know what? I think it'd be fun to actually take on one of these, like, goblin camp things. They're not goblins, never mind. They're vocal goblins. They're pretty goblins, actually. But, let me just push this boulder down. Uh, what's gonna happen? Is anything... Boom! Stuff happened. Was that it, really? Wow. That wasn't super difficult. We're being productive. About a minute in. Let's go. Okay, so. I'm gonna make sure I have a decent amount of weapons before we leave the Great Plateau. They don't have to be good weapons. Oh, are you kidding me? The best thing to drop right now is a Traveler's Spear. Okay. I'm also going to just use up these Boko Clubs because... Uh, they aren't really all that good. What the heck? There we go. That was really weird. I guess I accidentally pressed the space bar on my keyboard. I guess it paused the recording or something. I don't know. Either way, um, I'm going to make my way up to the... Uh, what's it called? The Temple of Time, yeah. And, um, then, you know, I'm gonna climb up the ladder. I've done this before. Uh, is this for the trousers on? I mean, I have decent trousers. I don't know I think this is worth it. Is this it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, so they're the same. I'll keep the ones I have on right now, though. Oh, it broke. Good thing there's one right over here. Okay, um... Good, okay. That works, I guess. Okay. Um, time to not get distracted and make my way up here. There we go. And now we're in the Temple of Time. This is just cool. Um, let's talk up here, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, so this is gonna be the first. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Heart Container. Yeah, you can trade it, but um, I'm just gonna go with the Heart Container right now. Yes. Uh, next I'll probably do Stamina. I want to do mostly Heart Containers, though, because, uh, you know, Master Sword and that kind of thing. But, mm, uh, having more Stamina is going to be helpful later. It's also really easy... Okay, there we go. Up to four hearts now. It's also really easy to find, um, shrines once you've, you know, done none of them. Oh! Oh. Yes. Okay. Well, let me get up there. Uh, okay, there's a ladder over here that I can climb up. Okay. This looks a bit dangerous. Um, if I fall, do you think I'd die? Doubt it. Oh, here he is. The paraglider, maybe? <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. 
kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda and the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection, 
Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on, use the paraglider just as I promised. I have the paraglider. Let's go. So, that was a pretty long cutscene, but I think it was pretty good. Yep, okay. <laughs> okay, well. And this chest, I... Oh, there it is. It'll be fine. I think it's better, I guess. So, I guess our first test is gonna be right here. Yeah, the paraglider does take um, stamina. Uh, it's just a thing that happens. Uh, anyways, I'm going to teleport. Let's take out this camp first, actually. I don't think this is going to hit him. Can't aim, apparently. Here we go. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sneak in, right? And then I'm gonna grab the... I'm gonna s sneak in... Right here. And then... Maybe try to, like... Maybe if I just go slow, they won't know I'm here. Nothing. It's okay. That was basically everything. Now I'm just gonna go in and try not to get hit by me. He can do. Okay, there we go. Um, next weapon, I guess I could. Okay. Go. Okay, well that's all of them. Now I'm going to go. I'm just gonna just paraglide off the side of the the, the, the cliff face, I guess, of the Great Plateau. I will be back in a minute. There's like a I don't know. I guess I gotta. 
close the blinds on my window. There's a really bad glare on my monitor. It has been fixed. Okay. Now it's time to... It's just time to go, really. Um, you know? Goodbye to the Great Plateau. Um, not forever, obviously. We can always teleport to any of the things here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go explore the world. It's probably going to be annoying because it's dark. Mm. Mm. Oh, I can't make fire. Okay. Anyways, where's the tower that I'm going to try to go for? I would like to get a horse at some point. Um. So that's the tower I want to get to. Then, yeah, there it is. That's the tower that I want to try and get to. So I guess I could just go. So there's also spots that you can climb down on this wall, I have heard, that um, are uh, just if there wasn't the fog at the bottom, you could be fine. Oh, it's morning. Okay. Hyrule Kingdom. Wow. Okay. It's like... What time is it? Four? It would never be this bright at four in the morning. In fact, right now it doesn't get bright until about like 6.45. Okay, come on, Choo Choo. I am prepared to take on Hyrule Kingdom. I've got my Boko shield and Boko club and two pieces of armor that I got from the amiibos. Yeah, I'm ready. So, um, you know? Oh, oh, I did not remember this. Ooh, why don't I ignore that for now? Never mind. I'm not prepared to take on. Hyrule Kingdom at all. Oh, a shrine. I didn't even see that. But yeah, I guess it makes sense. I know where I am now. Okay, I guess this will be the first shrine outside of the Great Plateau. Um, so, this is good, I guess. Okay, and I can skip this. The wind guides you. So this is actually, like, designed, I just moved upstairs, this is like designed for like, teaching things with the paraglider, right? Cause like, the only way to beat this I'm pretty sure is with the paraglider. I could be mistaken, I don't know. Okay, not bad. So now, we are going to use our paraglider for like, everything we do. Whole point of the game, yep. Okay. Is there something this way that I need to do? Is that just. Oh, okay, I guess it just makes. It's me good. I'm struggling to talk. Okay. I'm gonna try to just go this way, and I'm pretty sure there's a chest. Oh, I made it. Let's go. Ooh. Mm. Imagine I fall off. I fell off right here. That would just not even be fun. Because then I'd have to get back to this chest. And normally, I can only ever do it once. Look at how big the sword is. <laughs> Alright, let's just finish off this shrine. That'll be the first spirit orb outside of the Great Plateau. Nope. I just 
just had to make sure. Okay. Seen this cutscene before. Give me the spirit card. Thank you. There we go. Uh, strange mask rumors. Yeah, okay, there's gonna be, this is just the DLC. Oh, let me actually grab this thing. I didn't mean to. So yeah, this is uh, side quests. All right, so this is where I can get good stuff. I'm gonna try and avoid wearing a lot of this just because well, you know, I think it's more fun when it's more challenging. Especially when early game, you can almost instantly get like an armor that is just as good as the bar I think it's barbarian set. It's just I I don't I don't know. So what I want to do is I wanna make my way to my way to Kakariko Village and then this might sound a bit strange, but and then I'm going to go to the Divine Beast Va Meadow. So it's the bird one. Um, and that's going to be the first Divine Beast that I do. Because I think it's the easiest of the four and has the most useful ability of the four. Especially, okay. I'm going to prove that I know how to whistle run. See? I remember. If you saw my hand placement, you'd think it was ridiculous. But anyways, I just want to activate this tower. on the same day that I recorded episode number two. Uh, um, that means I can't do Amiibo for this episode. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is! Second Korok seed, I think. I think it is the second, right? Yeah, second, okay. Let me try to get to this tower. So I think I'm going to do what most people would do and just use this Ryanus. Oh, let's go. I got it. Okay. Um I'm gonna try and just avoid these guys. So I'm gonna find what I think is the shortest route to the tower. Probably just actually going across the thinnest part of the river, and then going to that side. I can't really do that, so I'm just gonna go from... I don't want to do some Korok quest right now. I mean, I think you just go from here, but I... I don't want to do Koroks right now. Put it like that. Climb this tower. Now, I gotta climb the tower now. Um, and the Dueling Peaks Tower. 
Okay, let me attempt to climb this without absolutely failing or something. So you actually can climb the towers even in rain, just because of the design of them, I, I guess. I guess that's the reason. But you can climb in them in rain when you really can't climb rock in rain. Uh, it hasn't rained yet for me, so it's not like super big deal. But yeah, let me just climb up this tower. No. No. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And we're up. Let's put the uh, uh, the Sheikah slate into the pedestal, I guess. That is a large piece of the map that's been updated, and now we can just see everything, basically. Ooh, okay, the Sheikah sensor. Yep. The sensor reacts when you're close to the shrine, so you've not visited. Yeah, so we can disable that if we want, but I'm not going to. I mean, it, actually, yes, I am. What am I? Yes, I am going to disable that, because I do not really... Like, you know. Sensor. Okay. Well, I mean, I can look at it, I guess. And the remote will go crazy. I think it'll still be fine. So, um, thank you for watching to the end. If you did, that'll be it for this episode. Episode number three. Hope you enjoyed at least somewhat. I tried to sound a bit more enthusiastic than the other times, just because the other times I sounded like I wasn't really uh, doing much. But, yeah. Anyways, good.